Hello and welcome to this drift driving quest. Let me show you what we've got in the project file so far. I've created a little car game that I think is pretty neat. You get some cool sliding. See how I'm drifting around the corner there. I'll show you why we get that neat drift in a moment. You can hit some jumps. Whoa, if you capable of doing that. I've got some gates that I uh, will hook up a little bit of the functionality for, but leave that to you to create. See how they're going to turn from red to blue just there. Jumps, you can hit a jump and then maybe do a little bit of stunts, do a little bit of spin. You can go forwards and backwards. So this is the functionality I've got in there at the moment. It's a fun little core of a game, but it's really just a car mechanic so far, and that is it. Let me show you how the car is created, because it's a little bit different and a little bit nifty. If you have a look at Skitty McVroom, he's our car. Within here, we've got a car sphere and a car body. If I turn off the car body, just a side note, these assets that I'm using are from the Sinti Polygon Prototype Asset Pack. Be sure to check out the Sinti assets. They're good folks and uh, their assets are really most excellent. So I've turned off the skin from my Sinti pack, and you can see when I click on play that our car is just the ball that's going around in the world. Woo, I can tap to the right and it turns, although uh, if it gets stuck behind a thing, because I played this a whole bunch as I was creating it, I kind of kind of get a feel for how much I need to tap left and right in order to turn, but you can see the player would have no idea which direction I'm facing in, so that is why we have a car body that we pop over the top so that we can see which direction the car is facing. So let me show you the code that's driving this car. We've got a few tuning variables, so speed, forward and backward, turn speed, a few other things, ground layer, that is important to make sure we can do our jumps, turbo layer, that's a bit of framework that I've put in there if you want to, let's see, if you want to turn these things over here into speed pads, uh, we could have it when you drive over the top of them, you go vroom really quickly, or it could give you a boost, or maybe it could give you a, a credit or a, or a pickup type thing that you could then use the boost at your, uh, your discretion. That'd be kind of cool. Push a certain key to make the player go quickly. That would be fun. So uh, I haven't hooked up turbo layers yet, but that might be one of your challenges. A little bit of gravity that's related to when you do jumps. And then we've got a little bit of stuff in the fixed update. It's important to use fixed update when you're doing things that are physics related because you can get a little bit of conflict if you just use updates. So that's something to keep your eye on as you go through the challenges that you're putting things in the right place, fixed update or update. Here we're checking to see if the car is grounded because uh, that's relevant when we're applying force and gravity if we're hitting one of those jumps. And within update, I've got a few methods in here I've broken out just so it's super clear. The vertical axis, axis is for moving forwards and backwards. Horizontal is for rotating left and right. And there's a little bit of code in there. You should be able to follow the logic pretty straightforwardly. And then this line is to do with the fact that uh, the car is this sphere that I pointed out before. And as we drive around the sphere, we want the entire, let's see, we want the entire car and the car body to be following where that sphere is. That's why we've got things set up that way. And that's what this line in here is related to. So most of this is straightforward. As always, ask any questions if you get super stuck, but I think you should be able to figure that out. So a lot of the challenges in this quest are to help you build the functionality to make a game. So I'm challenging you to make some uh, damage system. I'm challenging you to finish off these checkpoints to make sure that the player can hit the jumps properly. Uh, maybe you want to put in a timing system so you can actually see, did I win? Did I get a better score than someone else? But you can really take this project in so many so many different directions. You could add guns to the player so you can shoot other things. What are you shooting? Maybe there's enemies around, so you're driving around shooting enemies. Maybe they're chasing you, a little bit of AI that you put into your game. Maybe there's other cars or other sort of robots or other people that are chasing the car down, doing something with these uh, speed boosts. Maybe you make a stunt game that's all about trying to hit a, uh, a jump perfectly, or it's more about precision. It could be just a straight up race, racing around a circuit, maybe making an open world game. So instead of going from A to B like I'm doing here, you could have it so that you are just driving and driving and, and shooting and it's all about racking up points or discovering things uh, or, or driving places. So there's so many different directions you could take this game in. Not to mention the fact that you could change up what the player looks like or where the camera's position. You could make it first person. You could just take away the car and you could have the ball driving around in the world. You could make it Katamari Damacy type style when you bump over things, you pick them up or you destroy them. A little bit of destructible terrain would be cool. 
cool. So there really is a lot of directions you can take this game. If you're more at a beginner stage of your understanding or your game development progress, then really just working on the challenges that I've created for you and going through that process of saying, uh, how do I make a really cool racetrack? That could be enough for you and that could be an excellent learning opportunity and uh, a chance for you to create something really cool. So I'm super excited. I think we've got a great core project, a base project for you to work from. I'd love to see what you come up with. So please do share your project and share my game.com and, uh, or, and or share a video with us. And as always, help out your fellow community members. Good luck with this quest. Look forward to seeing what you come up with.